Okay, let's go. Yeah, we're back with Shut Up Ya Kunal. Come on, let's go. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of Shut Up Ya Kunal. Today with me is four-time parliamentarian Supriya Sule, daughter of Sharad Pawar, president of the Nationalist Congress Party, the NCP. Hello, ma'am. Do you do you uh, get upset when I introduce you as the NCP chief's daughter? Why would I be upset? Well, I am very proud of whose daughter I am. I am not ashamed about it at all. I am proud in the house that I was born in. And in what, with what face mm-hmm. can I not accept and own Parivarwad? Yeah. I mean, I have to take it, and I'd be foolish to say either way. But I'll mm-hmm. tell you the flip side of the Parivarwad: that the minute the first foot in the door. It's just fantastic because you think, oh my God, it's beautiful and it's lovely and yeah. you know it's also easy and everybody loves me. Till one day it just hits you because then there's a certain passage of time uh-huh. when people start making comparisons uh-huh. and if you don't match that comparison, it hits you so hard as a failure mm-hmm. that you want to put your head in the pillow mm-hmm. and cry. And I've mm-hmm. seen a lot of people go through that. Yeah. So it's not an easy journey. You're watched. You're judged. Mm-hmm. you're mocked but there are there are always two sides to the coin you have to choose which one you want so how has supriya sule performed her attendance is a whopping 96% you heard that right 96% raised nearly 1200 questions in parliament very vocal in parliament participating in more than 150 debates supriya sule has brought in nearly 22 private member bills 10 times that of the national average again crucial bills gender sensitization bill universal health coverage bill the mental health bill families of farmer bill all of them initiated by supriya sule like uh, most people uh, have to really hustle to get in the foot in the door i agree but 2006 totally agree. was the first time you were a rajya sabha member so that sort of privilege people uh, kind of look against in your direction when you talk about mahangai or when you talk about issues that directly impact the people they say that you come from a background where you've entered politics and on on a pedestal of course of so, course you're absolutely right i i am entitled i okay. i can't run away or take away from that am yeah. i ent- entitled of course i am okay clearly i i have to try and sort of tell myself every day which i do even whether you believe me or not that i have only gratitude in my mind you know this is not about you this is not about mr sharad pawar this is about your cousin ajit pawar So tell me about that. Well, I don't say cousin. It's my brother Ajit Pawar, who I've always said I love immensely, and we've grown up in the same house. We have a magical relationship, and I think the chemistry is seen everywhere. So Listen we don't have to fake it and posture it. Listen, that magical relationship, and he went to the BJP, and there were cracks within the so-called family unity. That's okay. It's a decision he took in the family. There's nothing wrong. If Somebody in the family does take a decision which is slightly different than what we really think. The whole beauty is to correct it and move on together. However much you may try and defend it, but the fact remains he is a serious contender and somebody who can, and I'll use the word with caution, hijack your father's legacy. Would you let that happen? Of course, my family's, uh, my father's legacy doesn't only belong to me. It belongs to so many people. Why would you even put it just between my brother and me? and i don't know it's just my guess because mr pawar has not openly spoken about it but i think he was a big advocate of the one child policy oh yeah yeah he see he married my mother on one condition that okay. um, that was the only condition that uh, if we agree to get married i either would like to adopt a child from the family hmm. or we have one child so my mother said no no if i am marrying you i would like to have my own child so they agreed to have one child girl or boy it didn't really matter to them जब सुप्रिया का जन्म हुआ था तो वो दौर में मराठा लोगों के बीच में ये प्रश्न था कि जब तक बेटा ना हो जाए तब तक आप संतान जो है वो करते रहें या फिर आप पहली दूसरी तीसरी शादी भी करें एक पुत्र की चाहत में लेकिन शरद पवार ने इस परिपाटी को तोड़ा और जब सुप्रिया पैदा हुई उसके बाद उन्होंने फैसला किया कि सुप्रिया ही उनकी इकलौती संतान होंगी but coming to other things you recently recommended a netflix show to everybody to watch so uh, i'm guessing that you watch a lot at least a lot of content on your free time i do so did you watch lal singh chadda or did you boycott it 
You know, to be honest, I just haven't had the luxury. There's a movie called Me Mas Vasantra, which I've been trying to yeah. watch for a month and a half, yeah. which is very close to my heart. It was a very dear friend of mine's made mm -hmm. it, uh -huh. and uh, I love Indian classical music. I like music period mm -hmm. because it completely unwinds my mind yeah. from all that, uh, you know, like a pack of noodles in my head. Yeah. So I wanted to see this. So I've not had, but I don't believe in banning anything by nature. Because I feel that a movie mm. is what an artist shows yeah. you. You don't like it, don't watch it. Nothing. I, I don't think any cinema or anything should be banned. Mm. We should leave it all to the audience to decide. I'm going to boycott them who are against our dharam, who are against the Sanatani, who are against the Sanatani. They will boycott them, they will cut them, they will cut them, they will cut them. How many days we didn't know the knowledge of the Sastra and the Sastra, you guys were making the baby, all the food and all the food and all the food. सच्चाई है कड़वी सच्चाई है हिंदू को टाइम कहा भाई भगवत गीता रामायण महाभारत पढ़ने का अब समय आ गया है अब जागो हिंदू अब जागो but uh, the people's argument is that uh, you know this Bollywood they have an uh, side agenda so now communal harmony and secularism is called as an agenda I was just going to say what agenda could Bollywood have they entertain us for decades Secularism and communal harmony is an agenda, ma'am. <laughs> no, I'm a big supporter of any cinema theatre. For the right. reason, I'm even looking at it because they make you think out of the box many times. Mm. And don't forget, it's a huge economy. You know, the amount of jobs they create, mm -hmm. be it in Chennai, be it in Mumbai, be anywhere in India. And uh, on a lighter note, even when you go to neighbours, mm -hmm. you won't believe it. I had very interesting experiences in Pakistan and Bangladesh, both mm -hmm. the places I went are Government India delegations, official mm -hmm. delegations. When we went to Pakistan, Shatrugna Sinha ji was with us. Mm -hmm. You should have seen people were going crazy. They just wanted to look at him, touch him, say hello to him, take a picture with him. The kind yeah. of response he was getting is phenomenal. And when I went to Bangladesh, everybody used to walk up to me and says, have you ever seen Chunky Pandey? I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know him, but I've seen him, I mean, in, yeah, yeah, I've seen him in movies. Yeah, it's not that because I live in Bombay, I'm like, hello, yeah. you know, you see film stars all over yeah. the place. So you see, Chunky Pandey is a superstar Star, in eh? Bangladesh, which yeah. is very encouraging and wonderful that they feel so close to us. So if you ask me, Bollywood can has played over the years. Look at the Kapoor family's contribution in Russia. Or mm. anywhere in Europe. Yeah. You go to Eastern Europe, they're still playing Mera Juta Hai Japani on other accordions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In New York. I mean, I think Bollywood really holds India in a very important space culturally to bring us together in the world. And this Bollywood is doing this, which is doing this, which is doing this, which is doing this, which is doing this, so one thing is that I was doing this, which is 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 doing this, या नेपोटिज्म हो या पे पैरिटी हो लेकिन अब तो मैं इनके पीछे पड़ जाऊंगी और मैं इनकी वाट लगा दूंगी एक एक को एक्सपोज करूंगी यू स्टिल वाच अंगना रन आउट फिल्म इफ व्हाई नॉट आई आई डोंट जज पीपल बाय व्हाट दे आर पॉलिटिकली थिंकिंग फॉर मी अ एक्टर इज एन एक्टर हीज और हर आइडियोलॉजी but coming to now politics that has happened in Maharashtra for the last two and a half years. The BJP Shiv Sena Alliance all set to retain Maharashtra, clearly all set to form the next government in Maharashtra. Then, then what happened? Then, then what? The state hangs in a limbo as the government is yet to be sworn in. Shiv Sena Chief Uddhav Thakre insisted on an equal power sharing formula with the BJP. Uddhav Thakre upped the ante by declaring that he was in touch with the Congress and the NCP as well. Fadnavis put all speculation to rest. He said that the people of Maharashtra have given a mandate to the BJP and Shiv Sena and that the BJP will form a government with its ally, the Shiv Sena. Then? Then what happened? Nobody really saw this coming. Least of all, the biggest politician of the state, Sharad Pawar, it seems. Because his nephew has broken his party, it seems, right under his nose to go with the BJP. Devendra Fadnavis has been sworn in successively as the Chief Minister of Maharashtra for a second term. Ajit Pawar is going to be his deputy. Then? Then what happened? Ajit Pawar, who led a coup in NCP by aligning with the BJP, has been forgiven by party chief and uncle Sharad Pawar, paving the way for Sena NCP Congress to stake claim to form the government. Uddhav, the first from the Thakre clan to be the chief minister of Maharashtra. Then? Then what happened? Then? Then what?
लिख कर ले लो लिख कर ले लो मैंने कहा था उद्धव जी आपकी कुर्सी जाएगी कहा था कि नहीं मैंने उद्धव जी सवाल पूछ रहा हूं आपको कहा था कि नहीं मैंने लोग तो ये भी कह रहे हैं कि उद्धव ठाकरे को कंगना का शाप लगा है सुन रहे हैं ना आप उद्धव जी ये तो कोई कहिए उनको टीवी ऑन करे टूडे लुकिंग एट वेर महाराष्ट्र इज विद चीफ मिनिस्टर एंड देवेंद्र फडनवीस एज डेप्यूटी चीफ मिनिस्टर डू यू थिंक एम वी एज अ फील्ड experiment i don't think it's a failed exp- <coughs> uh, i mean most i more than me judging it yeah. i think the kind of feedback we got in the last two and a half years or uh, the reports that got mm. out about the state and the mm. performance of the state i won't mm. just say government please remember government just doesn't mean the netas there's a huge administrative power behind it there are people from the sarpanches to the panchayats who are working the collectors the entire administration during the covid worked exceptionally well and that's not me speaking it's the data speaking and data is showing maharashtra in a very very good space and data speaks for itself i believe not in all data but when government of india puts in the data and shows maharashtra doing well well then there's nobody to contradict it कोविड कोविड अच्छे से मैनेज हुआ कि नहीं पता नहीं पर कुछ इंटरनेशनल अखबारों में न्यूज अच्छे से मैनेज हुई वो मैंने देखा सवाल इतना ही है कि सारे कोविड के दरमियान सरकार फेसबुक लाइव थी और पब्लिक डेड थी ये अवस्था हमको देखने को मिली इससे ज्यादा मैं बोलना नहीं चाहता हैविंग सेड दैट इफ वर्क वाज गोइंग इन सच गुड फ्लो पीपल वर हैप्पी व्हाई वाज देयर अ डिसग्रंटल शिवसेना यूनिट वे 50 एमएलए गिनती कीजिए 1 2 3 4 5 6 सात आठ नौ दस कुल मिलाकर फिफ्टी एम एल एस नॉट नॉट अ स्मॉल नंबर सी इट्स इंडिविजुअल एस्पिरेशन के नॉट बी हेल्ड टू मिलियन ऑफ पीपल फिफ्टी पीपल वर्सेज टेन मिलियन पीपल हाउ डज दैट मेक एनी सेंस इट्स नॉट इवन जीरो पॉइंट वन परसेंट ऑफ वॉट द पीपल थिंक एंड आई डोट वॉन्ट टू बी सो बायस टू माई सेल्फ एंड सो ब्लाइंडेड आई एम गोट बी वेरी ट्राई एंड बी फेयर objective of the objective for sure that maybe like the allegations came when mahavikas agadi came a lot of people felt that alliance was we fought differently but then we came together a lot of people thought it was not the right thing to do क्योंकि जो अब तक नहीं हुआ था वो अब आखिरकार हो गया सियासत के नॉर्थ और साउथ पोल कहे जाने वाले दलों का मिलन हो गया आई वुड लाइक टू पार्क दैट एज अ थॉट दैट व्हाट पीपल सेड दैट यू ऑल फॉट टू separately then the sena and the bjp fought together <coughs> so this belongs to us but then you had a change of mind so that's one part thought but two and a half years you worked in an organization you didn't even squeak in those two and a half years how many times did you really reach out all these people who are criticizing us today half of them have gone to every party and come they really you know like you try every misar power power ji wala कि इसका पापा जी अच्छा है इसका दे हैव डन इट ऑल एंड नाउ टू टेक दैट ओवर हाई मोरलिटी ग्राउंड इज देन यू शुड हैव दैट सी एंड इफ यू हैड अ प्रॉब्लम विद द गवर्नमेंट यू शुड हैव नेवर जॉइंड इट इन द फर्स्ट प्लेस यू शुड हैव सेड मैं नहीं जाऊंगा इसमें सो व्हाई डिड यू नॉट टेक दैट इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट मोरलिटी एवरीथिंग कैन बी अबाउट लाइफ इज नॉट अबाउट कन्वीनियंस ऑलवेज देर इज समथिंग अबाउट वॉट यू बिलीव इन एंड नेवर नेवर बाइट द हैंड दैट फीड्स यू इज वॉट माई पॉलिसी इज इफ आई आई मीन I think very differently about this. If I had a disgruntled situation with somebody, I would not try to grab and take anything. I would walk away and form my own. Like my like, father did. Of course. एक वक्त वो था जब शरद पवार खुद कांग्रेस तोड़कर सीएम बने थे. साल था 1977 का इमरजेंसी खत्म होने का साल. लोकसभा के चुनाव हुए. पहली बार कांग्रेस पार्टी सत्ता से पूरी तरह बाहर हुई ये हार छोटी मोटी नहीं थी सो पार्टी में इस्तीफों का दौर शुरू हुआ महाराष्ट्र में कांग्रेस के दो धड़े हो गए कांग्रेस यू और कांग्रेस आई पवार यशवंतराव चौहान के साथ कांग्रेस यू में शामिल हो गए 1978 में विधानसभा चुनाव हुए दोनों धड़ों ने अलग अलग चुनाव लड़ा और इसका फायदा मिला जनता पार्टी को जो निन्यानवे सीटें जीतकर सबसे बड़ी पार्टी बनी लेकिन सरकार नहीं बनी क्योंकि सत्ता के लिए कांग्रेस के दोनों धड़े एक हो गए थे लेकिन ये सरकार ज्यादा दिन नहीं चल पाई पांच महीने बाद ही गिर गई क्योंकि शरद पवार पार्टी से अलग हो गए थे और वो अलग अकेले नहीं हुए थे अपने साथ वो 12 विधायक भी ले गए थे शरद पवार ने 18 जुलाई उन्नीस को 38 साल की उम्र में मुख्यमंत्री के रूप में शपथ ली जनता पार्टी के समर्थन से थिंक लॉजिकली कुणाल मिस्टर पवार 
and the Congress had an issue, they asked Mr. Pawar to leave the Congress, which is absolutely okay. I mean, if he had done something which the Congress didn't like, they asked him to leave. I'm, I'm okay about it. So, I mean, who am nobody is asking me, just a comment I'm making. Yeah, so, uh, he walked away and he formed his own party. Yeah. He didn't go back to the Congress and said, Indira Gandhi is my mother. Sharda Bhai Pawar was always his mother. Yeah. He didn't try to grab and say, I want the Gandhi legacy, I want this. He said, I respect that family. He still talks very well about that family. But that doesn't mean you're constantly fine. I mean, it's, I feel completely disillusioned that how mature people can behave like the Dasra rally. They are fighting now, but who gets the ground first? I mean, come on, yeah, let it go. But uh, having said that, uh, you know, during this whole time in Maharashtra, like I kind of stopped analyzing things when I saw Shiv Sena Muslim MLA quitting Shiv Sena for Hindutva. I was like, that's it. That just closed the chapter. It's done. There's no moral high ground. It's over. Darasal, aaj, jo kuch Maharashtra mein ho raha hai, wo Hindutva ki cheat hai, dosto. Hindutva. Hindutva, dosto. Sirf aur sirf Hindutva. Hamara Hindutva. Aapka Hindutva. Bala sahib Thakre ka Hindutva. And uh, Mr. Sanjay Raut, Shri Shri uh, Sanjay Raut is now in jail for the ED. What do you have to say about the ED, the CBI and all these central agencies that kind of work as the BJP B team? Uh, well, Tejasvi said something quite sweet the other day. He says, ye unke teen damad hai. Teen damad. CBI, ED, IC, we are now talking about ICE. Bolte. ICE means income tax, CBI, ED. Sabka chal raha hai opposition mein. Koi nahi bacha is mein. Look, if somebody has done something wrong, person must be punished, whoever it is. Nobody is above the law. But processes have to be followed. Yeah. You know, again, I go back to the point of fear. Yeah. You know, bullying, fear, yeah. is that intimidation. The way they talk to you, the way they are trying to intimidate And angry, what are you angry about all the time? No, no, no. I never say anyone to anyone. My voice is a little bit low. My manufacturing is defective. I never say anyone to anyone. I don't have to be angry. If I ask Kasmir, then I will be angry. I don't have to be angry. What do you What do you think is the BJP's appeal for governance? What do you think the people, what are, what are they appealing to the people that the people are going with them? Nationally, I don't know what they're appealing actually, to be honest, because the goalpost keeps changing. So I have no clarity on that myself. But at the same time, I must say that uh, they have this whole uh, infrastructure, which is it's like a bulldoze, you know, so they will go in, they will sort of break things and they will get it. And they've done that state after state after state. So it, it's working for them at the moment. These are uh, the top leaders of now, well, the Goa BJP. Uh, remember, eight of the 11 Congress MLAs have defected and joined the BJP in Goa. This is the second time around that there has been an over two-third defection from the Congress to the BJP. Well, there's been a big jolt to the Congress, just 27 sitting Congress MLA to have joined the BJP in MP since the Kamal Nath-led government fell following a resignation of its 22 MLAs. In Karnataka, 16 disqualified Congress JDS legislators on Thursday joined the BJP. But I still feel there are a lot of states who are not that caring towards them. Uh, I mean, the uh, Tamil Nadu finance minister was asked, how do you feel when uh, the prime minister addresses the nation in Hindi? And he said that uh, I have better things to do and I don't listen to him. Well, I see he's the Prime Minister of the country at the end of the day and I, I'm actually quite a fan of the Tamil Nadu finance minister. So for me, it's a, you're putting me in a spot. He's but, good, he's, uh, he's, that was funny. No, but I'll tell you, uh, what I think is there are a lot of states where BJP doesn't have a presence. So it's like a, it's like a marketing gimmick where you're seeing a certain product again and again and then you're intimidated by the product. So it's like a big company a big East India company coming into India and yeah. taking over things. Colonizing that doesn't mean again. that it's all good for you. The notion that you could carve out a country of uh, what is now 1.3 to 1.4 billion. India today is a miracle. There is no other kind of uh, you know example in history where you have brought such disparate cultures with disparate food, language, history, brought them all together, created an administrative unit 
in uh, 75 years which is the blink of an eye relative to our thousands of years of history and made it work successfully for the most part as a democracy we are a miracle the miracle is a threat any time of not being a miracle anymore right by the very fact that you're a miracle you should be paying attention to ensuring you can make this continue i'm not sure that enough minds are working on it so of course then i'm always in fear like just imagine i in my skin if we are saying that people have fear then what happens to the minorities what happens to the minorities who are always in ghettos of you know the outskirts of the city how do they feel so that's that's what bjp is doing uh, polarizing the people what do you have to say about that you know polarization is a choice that we are all making and we are allowing because that's not what my mother taught me so i'll tell you when i follow the vedant mm. and the what they are trying to tell us is not the truth mm-hmm. india which is the oldest civilization is all about loving caring giving this is a completely new packaged convenience political model which is only going to hurt us in the long run mm-hmm. bajrang dal warning of non hindus to stay away from garba venues there are several incidents of assault on muslim youth that have been reported from gujarat from maharashtra as well as madhya pradesh in ahmedabad videos show a person being stripped punched and kicked by half a dozen men in saffron scarves amidst busy traffic in maharashtra four muslim boys were thrashed by locals and slapped repeatedly in the presence of the police meanwhile bjp has also demanded that people from the other community should be banned from entering the pandals so that's why i say that i don't want to play the game that they are playing mm-hmm. i'm not they are not setting the targets where i'll win i'll play my own game you play your own game if it matches wonderful it doesn't tough you well, know but i think um, i i i am not so convinced yet or as disillusioned i'm concerned yes because i just feel that there are pockets again which are trapped in all this yeah. everybody is not you see the entire down maharashtra down which state is with them but they are polarizing they are they're polarized they keep going on and on and on but i feel anything too much of anything the bubble has to burst at point and it will burst because it's harmful to us yeah. media mein pichle 5 saal ke headlines utha lijiye sham ki debates ke kya keval provoke karne wale nahi hai wo aap do teen channels ka main naam nahi lunga keval aur keval hindu muslim ke upar charchaye hui hain a few moments later aaj bhi masjidon ke niche se aap agar galti se hanuman ji ki shobha yatra nikalte ho aap ram ji ki yatra nikalte ho to masjid se patthar baji hoti hai ye cancer hai agar cancer ka treatment karna hai to pehle cancer hai ye declare karna padega aap bolega pechis hai aur chemotherapy dena hai to log vishwas nahi karenge ab aap hath se zyada bad rahe ab aap hath se zyada aap ye bata rahe hain saab aap kisi ko bhi marwa denge kyu be क्यों बे क्यों 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 मरवाओगे सी वन डे पीपल विल सी आई हैव लॉट ऑफ फेथ इन इंडियाज पीपल एंड डेमोक्रेसी पीपल आर एक्सेप्शनली स्मार्ट डोंट फॉर अ मोमेंट थिंक दैट दे आर नॉट वाचिंग व्हाट यू आर डूइंग या सो आई हैव एब्सोल्यूट फेथ व्हेन एनीबॉडी टू मच पावर कम्स और गेट्स सेंट्रलाइज्ड India has resisted it again and again and again. But you think the young people have more? Uh, you have more optimism towards the people who are. I'm always. I'm the eternal optimist. optimist. The thing is, uh, you know, as a comedian, I'm not the eternal optimist because I've seen like, like I can travel. It's sad. I can travel four states in India and I can travel eighteen in America. So it is. It's pretty. Like I can't go to Gujarat and I can't do performances in UP or Bihar. It's not like I'm playing victim here. Yeah. It's fine. happens but have you but, tried going yeah it's just a cat and mouse game and they i won't want... give you permission no and I'm, i'm not in that phase where i want to prove a point so leave it finally kunal kamra you know you wrote an open letter to the vhp after they got your show cancelled in gurgaon and you dared dared them to condemn nathuram godse did you get any response no not yet <laughs> and i did uh, in that letter say that i'm hindu and i'm with great pride say jay sita ram and jay shri radha krishna no problem but can you say god se bol ka baad and they not responded on it i was actually scared what if they respond with god se amar rahe which they do every day on twitter on 2nd october <laughs> but coming back to the kind of politics that 
the BJP is doing currently. And it really kind of, it's just that everything that needs to be independent from the election commission to the CBI to everything. Like, you know, when it just surprises me and baffles me. The last time there was an election fraud case, which was kind of uh, given a judgment to, uh, do you remember when was it? Ah, that's a good question. It was when it, it was against Indira Gandhi when she was in power. And after that, it's never Nothing happened. happened. And in the last eight years, nothing has been tried. Nothing has sure. been taken to court. Everything has been delayed. So it kind of makes me feel really not as optimistic as you are. Because look at, look at what they've got. Except the institutions, media and etc. They've got a free hand on people uh, not asking them anything about their funding. The entire electoral bond scheme is completely against anything even resembling transparency. Uh, nobody will know who has given how much money to which political party. Mm -hmm. so the donor is anonymous, the receiver is anonymous, the donation is tax-free. In addition, the introduction of electoral bonds has also removed the limit of 7.5% of the profits that a company could yeah. donate to political parties. Now it is possible for a company to donate 100% of its profits to the political parties. In writing, the Reserve Bank of India objected, saying that this would undermine faith in the banking system, that electoral bonds could be used for black money, money laundering, and therefore the government should not go ahead. But instead of listening to what bodies like the RBI or the Election Commission had to say, the government pushed ahead. How do you all t tolerate this in a democracy like that? And then you make these people your role models? So when you speak about ke the, the price of onion and uh, Nirmala Sitaraman ji comes and says ke mere ghar mein koi kanda nahi khata. What do you think about comments like these that are made and people not responding to these comments? You know, actually, I like Nirmala ji. She's huh. a very nice lady. I've met her several occasions. She's exceptionally nice to me yeah. on the floor of the house. But what happens is sometimes I feel the pressure because of the way the economy is, is. I think the pressure gets to her is what I'd like to believe. The biggest problem today is the country's face is unemployment. Unemployment is one of the largest challenges yes. the youth of India today is facing. Yeah, yeah. One small example, the Indian Railways advertised 35,281 jobs for a technical position. It attracted 1.25 crore people for the job. I know somewhere deep inside that she agrees with what I'm saying. Because yeah. she does realize that today Mengai is a big issue. Nobody can run away from that fact. And she's a lady, she runs a house, so she knows what she's talking. But she, poor thing, cannot say anything because she has to put on that facade to yeah. convince the world that all is well. Look at where the dollar is to the rupee. Yeah. Look at the, 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 look at the way, uh, I can give you like 30 examples which are at a policy level. Yeah. The monetary policy. The interest rates, we kept saying about talking about interest rates, about Mengai, about growth. And you know, then they'll say ease of doing business. You know, the World Bank stopped the vertical of ease of doing business. And you're still quoting ease of doing business. So I feel sometimes that uh, poor thing, it's not her fault. The economy is not doing well and she's just pushed in front to say, Jao, lado. While our hands are tied, eyes, everything is tied. It's a moment that all of us will have to be true to ourselves rather than... Excuse me, ma'am. Do you have a problem if I speak? There's nothing about warring here. I'm sorry, madam. I'm sorry, madam. I will have to say this. Wait a minute, ma'am. Wait a minute. Why? Your experience is great, mine is not. I'm sorry, I object. Sir, I object. I don't utter a word of untruth. Listen, allow me to speak. Did you allow the Prime Minister or me to speak that day? You shouted me down. You know, maybe she wants to do a couple of things, but in this ministry, it's like with this government, it's very difficult to execute even good ideas. Uh, you know, I won't say that uh, totally because I have two very good experiences with this government. I must, uh, I mean, I say that with full humility. Actually, three. Yeah. Uh, the External Affairs Minister. I have a wonderful... I can't claim that he's a friend, but he's a, a colleague who I respect a lot. Because whenever I tweet to him, he, his entire uh, external affairs ministry is outstandingly uh, helpful. Competent. 
Very yeah. common. I mean, they are more than competent. You, you yeah. need help. You treat within yeah. no time. That person gets help anywhere in the yeah. world. So I have only gratitude in my heart for them. Roads and transport. Mr. Gadkari is the most popular minister amongst all MPs. Not just me. You ask any MP who take a vote today. Oh no, minister. He's accessible. Yeah. He's available. Yeah. He calls a spade a spade. So it's very easy. You yeah. know where you stand. That is happening and not happening. And the third is railways. My experience with railways and the entire railways, be it the GMs, be it the DRMs, mm-hmm. be it uh, the entire administration at Railways Mantrale, yes. right from the top, the chairman railway board, right up to the last gate man, has been exceptionally good. I travel a lot by train. I must admit, the trains are cleaner. The toilets in the trains are cleaner. The platforms are cleaner. So you have to give that team credit. For me, these three mantrales have been a wonderful experience to work yeah. with. But and I'm, the credit to the minister and his entire team. Let's not just, not you know, just there's the a minister. lot of people there's working people behind working. there. Yeah. And you know, abhi saath, saath saal apne kya kya abhi boring ho gaya. Kuch naya dialogue nikaliye. Seven years is a long time to do something. You know, bachcha kuposhit hai, kuposhit hai. Saath saal mein usko khana khila ke maa doda ke school bhi bhej deti hai. Saath saal mein itna ho sakta hai ek maa ko. Aaj saal bahut hote hai. नहीं बहू भी शादी होके जब घर आती है ना तो आठ साल के बाद शादी में कोई नहीं सुनता कि ये लेगेसी इश्यूज है मेरी सास के टाइम से चल रहा है आठ साल में वो बहू उस घर की फुल फ्लेज मेंबर हो जाती है दिस विल रियली अम्यूज यू ऑन दी ऑडियंस दैट आई एम टेलिंग यू ऑन अ वेरी लाइट नोट आई वोट इवन से दिस इज माई वीक मोमेंट टू बी लाइक दिस वन अ जेंटलमैन Uh, from the BJP said that Supriya Sule must just go home and cook. I quote, "Why are you even in politics? Just go home and cook." Yeah, I and I really didn't feel bad about it because I don't find cooking as a bad thing. Yeah, you know it's Anna Data Sukhi Bawa. So whoever feeds you is the most important. Now I value my mother, my grandmother, and all the women who have fed me. They've been a big influence in my life, and yeah. we worship food. So I take it as a compliment. What we understand is that her husband has openly supported her and said that he's proud of the work she does. I went home, and my father and my son were sitting, and I walked in, and they saw the news, and uh, so my father started laughing and said, "Look what he's saying about you." So we had a good laugh, and my son is saying, "I actually felt sorry for the gentleman." I said, "Hello, you're supposed to be." On my side, yeah. so he says, "No, mom, he doesn't know you're not a very good cook." <laughs> so I thought it was it came so naturally from my children. So we all just burst Love. out as a family. So you know, you have to take some of this with a pinch of salt. Yeah, life is to enjoy and celebrate. You can't just hold on to things, yes. and, and because it makes your life miserable, which I don't want it to be. But while <laughs> you all were in government, there were a lot of comments that were people that people made a lot of loose talk on social media. Where there's this Marathi actress which was arrested, and a lot of people tweeted at me saying, "Oh, you say things, and you are never arrested." And she says things, and she's arrested. A Thane court has sent Marathi actor Ketki Chitale to police custody. Five cases have been registered in Thane city against the Marathi actor, allegedly for sharing her posts against Sharad Pawar. So in the moment when the comment is made you do feel anger rage and disappointment but do you, do you feel that a what what is freedom of speech and the role of freedom of speech in a event like this where there's something said that you would not like to hear No what would I not like to hear they've said a lot of nonsense about us we've never said a word about anybody but that ever la- that that lady getting jailed for She didn't jail she didn't get jailed because of me she got jailed because of the court I didn't put her in jail the court put her in jail because it was inside under what charge inciting violence see somebody no would you tell somebody that you should die 153a is a for spreading religious hate in that poem uh, which she have uh, forwarded uh, somebody else wrote that poem <sighs> right she just forwarded okay and that uh, how can uh, we can say that uh, power is the religion Hmm. so uh, religious sentiment get hurt hmm. power is no religion a lot of people have said a lot of nasty things to our family and um, i was much younger when a lot of nasty charges were made and uh, my mother and me strongly felt that my father should have defended himself and he said that i have i haven't done it so i see no reason to defend myself and um, he kept quiet he's a man of a lot of silence and he's exceptionally patient he can keep quiet for a very long time and people are going at him at him at him and my mother and me used to feel that as a family we went through it was not a very pleasant experience 
Let me put it as diplomatically as I can. So it was a very difficult and a painful time in 1993 through many, many years. It's not a pleasant thing about what they said about our family. And um, we struggled, we stuck it out and he didn't say a word and everybody's forgotten about it. Yeah, I mean, But been, there uh, are people uh, who don't realize that they, when they are making these false allegations, at what cost it comes to somebody. But in the long run, people stuck it out with us. So I think I have gratitude in my mind that my father's silence was not taken as his weakness. It eventually came across as his strength. And people of Maharashtra and India stood by him. And a lot of people will know that the people of Maharashtra and India stood by him. Maybe two or three times, there will not be any time for me and Sadhra Rao. There will not be any time for me. आज शरद राव जी का जीवन देखते हुए लगता है कि जहां भी उनकी नजर गुजरेगी सब दूर से उनको सलाम आएगी सो देर इज ऑलवेज पीपल हैव काइंड ऑफ लुक्ट एट यू एंड सेड दैट यू नो देर इज अ स्कोप और चांस दैट यू वुड बी द फर्स्ट फीमेल चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ महाराष्ट्र वेन पीपल पुट सच प्रेशर ऑन यू एंड एंड वन ऑफ माई फ्रेंड्स शी कमेडियन and she said you know i'm getting the first netflix special of india and i'm a comedian who's a woman and a woman does something for the first time she'll be criticized nine times more than a man would and there was a lot of pressure when she was shooting that i remember meeting her on the shoot also and she said this do you feel this kind of pressure when people no, say no not at all it doesn't even cross my mind because you are not ambition to become the chief It's, minister i let me explain this to you i don't believe in um, tokenism of any kind in okay. any work Please understand, this is a very serious issue, and uh, this is not about personal ambitions of any woman or any anything. I'm saying this in a very, very serious context because the job is very critical. It doesn't matter who the gender is. Doesn't matter. Doesn't mean all the men are doing a wonderful job as chief ministers anywhere in the country, or if there are women, they've just done such outstanding work that it's been a game changer. They've all been good. Why are you trapping a position? in a gender how does it help my point is that just because you put a woman in a job does that mean all women's issues at that moment get resolved there is established and growing evidence that women's leadership in politics actually improves governance by increasing responsiveness to citizens needs by improving cooperation between political parties and by prioritizing long term development through education and healthcare It's not true. Who gave me a voting right? A man. Who gave me a right to education? A man. Who gave reservation to a woman? Man. All women. Think logically. So to unnecessarily get trapped into tokenism, I don't believe in that. ये विधान सभा है कि मर्द सभा? देश दुनिया तो मर्दे ही चलाता है ना मैडम? तो वे तो होंगे ही. Even today, women make up just about 13% of the Indian Parliament, while the global average is around 20 to 25%. But why? It's been 25 years since the bill for reservation of 33% of seats for women in the parliament was introduced, but it is yet to be passed. Most national and regional parties too don't give more than 20% of MLA and MP tickets to women. This adds to the vicious cycle of politics continuing to be male dominated, a fact which is often highlighted in the treatment of the few women politicians we have. They are far more prone to sexualization and derogatory remarks about their merit and demeanor. There is a lot of people who want to join politics but when they see this all male gang and uh, you know even a woman discussing politics on Facebook or Twitter kind of gets trolled far more than Don't the read the do. comments. Mentions are tensions. <laughs> no, I don't read comments by nature. Read. read say what you I've said what I wit with full conviction. You yeah. don't like it tough here. To main ye keh sakta hu ki main pichle 2 dashak se daily 1 kg 2 kg galiyan khata hu. <laughs> There's something I've observed of all the opposition uh, politicians like yourself. You guys are extremely dedicated to exercising and keeping fit. Most of you guys. Really? Yeah. In the opposition? Yeah. Rahul Gandhi six pack abs in Kerala was seen. I didn't see them, but uh, he's very fit. He's very fit, 
दाढ़ी तो बैठे बैठे ग्रो हो जाती है सिक्स पैक्स के लिए मेहनत लगती है सो इज इट बिकॉज यू गाइज नो दैटेक समाइम फॉर द पावर इक्वेशन टू शिफ्ट सो यू गाइज करेंटली वर्किंग ऑन फिटनेस आई लव एक्सरसाइज बाई नेचर सो आई लव टू एक्सरसाइज सो and i don't do yoga only on yoga day i do yoga 365 days and it's yeah. for me it's a lifestyle and nobody yeah, owns it yeah, and surya namaskar when other people are just lying there you know i feel so sorry for the half of those ministers who are just doing shavasana i'm like don't nice. you know i don't just do it to it's a tokenism yeah because yoga is and let me tell you there is no exercise in the world better then yoga and when you i mean i go into another zone yeah. and i've been doing it for years yeah. i can do yeah. Yeah. surya namaskar right here if you tell me you yeah. know it's it's a very easy practical you know everything indian is very simple and uncomplicated yeah. people can't take ownership to it it belongs to all of us yeah. unfortunately we are getting trapped into this whole game but so it's okay kai saalon se meri aadat ho gayi hai main mushkil se 3.5 3 4 ghante sota hu mujhe din bhar kabhi sona nahi padta hai मैं दिन भर काम करता रहता हूं और उसका एक कारण है मैं योग और प्राणायाम इससे जुड़ा हुआ हूं कभी कारणवश साल में एकाध दो बार मैं बहुत थकान अगर महसूस करता हूं तो मैं डीप ब्रीथिंग करने की आदत रखता हूं पांच मिनट दस मिनट डीप ब्रीथिंग कर लिया तो मैं फिर फ्रेश होकर के फिर अपने काम में लग जाता हूँ आप मुझे सुबह मिलेंगे तो भी मैं इतना तेज तर्रा रहता हूँ रात को मिले तो भी वैसा ही रहता हूँ do your parents not work hard very oh, so then so you know this whole thing of i i mean everybody works hard and there are millions of people listen the farmer works much harder than you and me we're sitting in an air conditioned room yeah. they are sitting all out in the sun that's why you and me get food on the table this is that entitlement business that we are something great not at all please show some humility and be aware and conscious of what you are and that's what leadership is about it's not about success it's about empathy and compassion that's what completes you as a leader but thank you so much for taking thank time thank you out. so uh, much i had a lovely time talking to you thanks Sorry for coming I. out thank you okay we got a episode guys you guys think it's going to 12 baj gaya shut shut hey shut up ya kunal shut up ya kunal shut up ya kunal I actually don't feel that anybody in BJP is my enemy mm. because I I believe in democratic rights. So they are not my enemies. We have a and I love it that we have a we have to have a difference of opinion. Others, what's the point of calling it a democracy? Let me tell you, they don't feel the same about. <laughs> no, they may not feel about. See, what I think, I can control. I can't control what they think, and that's what Vedan tells you: control what you can, which I accept what you can't. Yeah, that's I'm not accepting it, but for me, nobody is my enemy. Just right. because you criticize me doesn't become maybe or my well wishers, or you're criticizing me. My mother criticizes me every day. Does that mean she's my enemy? No, yeah. she's my well wisher. And that's why you, who are my opponents, are a very big burden for me. वो मेरे लिए गोल्ड माइंड है ये क्या लॉजिक के बदले में सोचो मिलता है वो कॉलेज जो उसको ऑरेंज लड्डू मिलता है ये ही देश नहीं जो मुल्क की रेस है इसमें सच में किया क्या मोफलाट फेस है देखो मैंने अब सवाल कर मैं छोड़ दिए हैं मैंने तेज भागने को नहीं जुटे लिए मेरे सारे सपने धीरे-धीरे मर रहे हैं यार जिन में हमारे जवान लड़ रहे हैं